a pleasant good morning to you. The Bible has so many things and so many topics to educate us and to guide us and to cause us to apply to our lives. Now look at Joab, a political soup drinker. Joab, a political soup drinker. Watch, in 1 Kings chapter 1 and verse 7, it says, And he conferred with Joab, the son of Zeruiah, and with Abiathar, the priest. And they following Adonijah, helped him. Now Adonijah is David's son. And Adonijah wants to sit on the throne, but he did not get permission from Joab. No, sorry, he did not get permission from his father who is sitting on the throne, David. I don't know if David had said that Solomon should sit on the throne. I don't know if he had broadcast that among his children. I don't know. But now let me come to Joab. Joab is the one that Adonijah conferred and discussed with and laid a plot with to usurp authority and to sit on the throne of Israel and to displace David or uh, looking at hindsight to displace Solomon. Why Joab should do that? Joab is one of David's trusted uh, generals. Why should he do that? Well, he did that because Joab is a political soup drinker. He is seeing that this guy, Adonijah, he is seeing that David's son can end up on the throne. He did not make that move uh, when David was younger and Absalom tried to take over. He didn't make that move. No, but listen to something that many of you forgot. Uh, Joab it is who took darts and when Absalom was strung up, right? His mule left him strung up. It is Joab who chose conveniently, this political soup drinker, he chose conveniently to forget what David had said, deal kindly with the young man. In other words, David was saying to them, you could arrest him, but don't kill him. That is what David, uh, Joab disregarded that. And he is the one who slew, he slew Absalom. Now he is conferring and coming together and confiding uh, in and with uh, Adonijah and wants to take away the throne. Listen, lessons for us to learn. Lessons for us to learn. Please understand that when you are a leader and there are people like Joab who wants to pull the carpet from under your feet, uh, those are not people to have close to you, eh? Understand that. Whether we're dealing with, well, whatever, not people to have close to you. But listen to this. Uh, David, David, now don't, don't mess with history, eh? David had used Joab to do his dirty work. And because of that, it is as if David cannot rebuke uh, Joab. You understand, he can't rebuke Joab. What dirty work? Well, it's Joab who caused uh, Uriah the Hittite uh, to be in the forefront of the battle and the others pull away and Uriah the Hittite got killed. It is Joab who set that up. Listen to this. Don't miss this. Please understand, head of household or whoever, that when you are a leader, I'm not only talking about political leaders. We are leaders in our homes sometimes. Do not let people have secrets for you because they're going to blackmail you. Yes. So that is why the better way to live is live in such a manner that people cannot point the finger at you. At Joab, David was soft on him. Why? Because he, David, set up Joab to do his dirty work. Now, as we go through the day, understand this. We 
must not be talking to myself. We must not be political soup drinkers who blow in with the wind and shift in our ideas simply because of what we can get. Further, listen to this strange one. As family members, head of our souls and assistants, husbands and wives, we must not shift with the ideas of our children so that we can have a popular following at the, following at the expense of our wife or our husband. In other words, we must not just go together with what my child says simply because I want to be popular with my children. No, husbands and wives must sit and discuss certain things before bringing it in the open and they should hold one head on whatever matter as you train children. Understand that also. That's an application from the Joab story. God and Father, thank you so much for giving us an opportunity to find these applications in your word. Help us not to be like Joab, wavering and tossing with the wind. But also, help us not to be like David in terms of having secrets that friends have that they can spill the bean and blackmail us. Help us to live God-fearing lives. In Jesus' name I thank you. Amen and amen. May God richly bless you.